sin omega t b sin omega t plus alpha till now we confined ourselves to something like only a sin omega t what happens if some composite signal comes like this what method has to be applied this is the thing next few for parallel circuits as the previous class we discussed some two three four problems on parallel a generalized idea how to deal with parallel circuits and series circuit then we'll proceed to resonance series sign parallel resonance so i'll i'll begin with this question now look at this uh, signal a sin omega t plus b sin omega t plus alpha so what we should calculate <coughs> we should find out the vrms of this one and what is the phase angle of the given signal we know how to calculate vrms we were not aware of what like that particular phase angle of the signal how to can be asked like this also total signal has to be replaced now vrms <coughs> and it will have some phase also that signal we'll calculate rms value of this function so what is a generalized approach what we have is vrms i'll, I'll proceed now this way so this what we have a generalized formula vrms square is equal to 0 to t v square dt 0 to t dt this i'll substitute here v rms square is equal to uh, this will be 1 by t 0 to t a sin omega t b sin omega t plus alpha all square dt this will expand alpha is some phase angle so what we do is we are going to expand it then we'll integrate we'll substitute the limits then we'll get the required rms value there's one approach i think you have to you are going to encounter a mathematics here now first sin omega t you have to expand sin omega t cos alpha cos omega t sin omega t then we'll get three components expanding a a plus b plus c whole square formula solving all that we'll get expression for directly the the uh, uh, vrms value Th there's a one approach i think uh, can you okay one more step i'll show it what we have to do after this is a sin omega t this will be b sin omega t cos alpha plus b cos omega t sin alpha this we have to further expand then after expansion then integration for full cycle where all sin square omega t it should be 1 by 2 in one full cycle the value of this should be 1 by 2 integral of sin omega t dt in one full cycle will be zero you have to follow this so if i solve this i'll end up with the equation like this vrms square is equal to a by root 2 whole square b by root 2 whole square plus ab cos alpha what is alpha alpha is the the phase of the second component so this if i put it you have to solve mathematically huh? this is a value i think uh, you have to be careful here what is that uh, this is the maximum value no so this should be a by 2 only will come <coughs> a square by 2 plus b square by 2 plus ab cos alpha this is a generalized formula like that sir if i bring uh, another component plus c sin omega t say some phase angle you you can't you have to work out this phase what happened i think we have we discussed the problem without this phase angle can you remember without this 
it was there that one the question what we discussed is it, it was without this no if the phase angle comes no the formula will end up like this huh? nothing to do just solve this equation solve this bracket expand and integrate and where all you get conditions of like this no it should be so then substitute finally you'll get this much so we got vrms now what about the phase angle of this it's only magnitude we got no phase angle i think it's very difficult we can't predict the phase angle how do we can say it will have zero phase mm, nothing to do that one so what is the alternative method is or what is the alternative method we'll go for <coughs> a sin omega t what is the phase of this zero magnitude is a uh, what what is the magnitude of second component <coughs> b then what is the phase angle alpha i'll treat this as v1 in the phase diagram this is a maximum values i have not rms values so let me do for maximum here I, and this is b this alpha i'll calculate the resultant of this what is the formula for this resultant will be resultant will be vm maximum no so what what i took is maximum vm square equal to a square plus b square 2ab cos alpha there's a peak value of this then what is the angle made uh, the, the resultant of this can we calculate i think go back to the vector addition angle made by the resultant with this one so this vm vector will come somewhere in between this is alpha so how to calculate this tan theta you know formula substitute here that will be the total resultant of signal vrms and it will have a phase angle of theta you don't know that high no that's what i am trying to hear we don't know that current how to calculate current until unless you don't know vrms check the calculation so i got vm so if you know vm then vm by root 2 i think i'll get this answer is it justified i think this this approach uh, i i prefer this one uh, because this having less the first one integration one is was very lengthy so what is the basic idea of this treat that individual components as a vectors a sin omega t magnitude is a zero phase b magnitude is b <coughs> and phase angle is alpha so two vectors are there two phases are there the angle between the phases is alpha calculate the resultant magnitude that is vm then you'll get vrms if solve it i think you'll get same answer can we calculate also phase angle that theta as angle made by vm i think th this will be best approach you know the second one because as i increase one more component i think you'll be in a big trouble this this integration method will be very lengthy to calculate so in exams you must have this alternative uh, able to focus so in books we don't have discussion on like this composite signal i can apply the, the idea is very simple here this phase angle now uh, what is average power so you know vrms then you should calculate the current i how to calculate current i vrms by impedance z is equal to no r square plus xl square then irms equal to vrms by z then what is average power or, or else what you should do you you can also write vrms rms <laughs> cos phi phase angle of circuit again you have to do phase angle of circuit uh, it, it just depends on 
excellent R nu. Again, don't think that phase angle of circle depends on this phase angle. VRM is having a zero phase or that one. On the vector diagram will change, but the overall, the phase angle of circuit is still this much only. But when you're drawing the vector diagram, you can't just put uh, via, like a VRMS you see is having some phase and it's RL circuit current lags the voltage. So uh, the, the rough diagram VRMS current current so depend if it is having zero phase no applied voltage is not having so some phase angle there's also having some phase angle and there'll be also phase angle there's a phase angle of circuit so you have to include that one so if, if this is IRMS if you assume IRMS <coughs> to be zero phase then where VRMS, VRMS will come like this. What is this phase angle and what is this phase angle? Theta degrees. What is this theta degree and what is this phase angle? This is the phase angle of circuit and the VRMS itself is having some phase. 